8. Jade Always Jade has modeled at New York Fashion Week and Full Figured Fashion Week and many other places. Her model Mayhem page says she is 5 apostrophe 9 and weighs 195 pounds, has a 40-inch bust, a 52-inch waist and also that she has a size 11 shoe. Now Jade is right on the cusp of this whole thing. She almost does not belong in this article, as there are numerous dudes that would be totally thrilled to mess around with a really hot chick with those proportions. In fact a lot of guys totally prefer it. But still, she is definitely a little bigger than the Ashley Grahams of the world. So she made the cut, even though a lot of other chicks on this list totally dwarf her. And yes, I pretty much mean that literally. Oh and for you guys that do like this sort of thing, her profile also says she does nudity. Don't tell anyone I told you. 9. Katana Fatale Another woman who is on the large side, even when it comes to plus-sized modeling is Katana Fatale. She has modeled for Chubby Cartwheels and Swak. You can Google Chubby Cartwheels if you want to. I am not going to. Sometimes curiosity kills the cat, and I think this might be one of those times. She was discovered when she had a body positive blog that got attention from a popular website. Of this she says, it's a very interesting story. I was actually discovered by BuzzFeed. Com. They mentioned my Tumblr as a body positive style blog to check out. I had my blog for maybe 12 days at that time. I don't think I deserved recognition like that. But my selfies caught the attention of a BuzzFeed editor and that put my Tumblr blog on the map. There are worse ways to stardom. Get Donna. 10. Jennifer Buckingham Jennifer is definitely a model who puts the size in plus sized. She does not mess around when it comes to being positive about her body image. On her website she says, I have never been a small girl and for much of my life I faced a nasty uphill battle with self-esteem that manifested into both mental and physical issues. I don't think that magically one day we are all of a sudden cured of our insecurities. However, I believe we can recondition old negative thought patterns and replace them with positive beliefs that propel ourselves forward. My work combines my love of style and fashion with the philosophy that we are all beautiful, worthy, and enough just as we are right in the present moment. Hey, I don't think I can argue with it and I don't want to. You go girl. 11. Lyris Cross Lyris has been called the Naomi Campbell of Plus, and let me tell you, there is nothing wrong with that at all. Some of the places she has worked at are Curvis to Magazine and Villup too. Lyris is a little on the small side for this piece, but she is totally big enough to be legit plus sized. She has even been featured in the Daily Mail, where they say, when starting out, her statuesque form, cat-like eyes, full lips and flawless complexion got Lyris in the door of most model agencies, but she admits her voluptuous shape landed her on the shelf. Until now, Lyris is actually a pretty good eye test for this kind of thing, meaning it will reveal how much you dig plus size and how plus this size is for you. There are some shots of her out there in a bikini where she looks pretty hot. 12. Naomi Shimada Naomi has modeled for in style and O Comely and has also done some writing on being a plus-sized model. Plus-size modeling starts at size 12 which obviously I thought was crazy. But I see now it's just the language. She wrote for The Guardian. It just means plus in comparison to the super thin. There were fewer girls doing plus-size, so I started making more money. I felt so free. I liked having boobs and hips and a butt. So there you have it. And I am sure it is true. While everyone wants to be a supermodel, not nearly as many women want to be a plus-sized model. And yeah, who doesn't like boobs and butts? The old saying though you can't have too much of a good thing does not always hold true. 13. Bishamber Doss Bishamber is known as Britain's first Asian plus-sized model. Now that is cool and all, but aren't we getting a little specific now? I can't wait to hear about Norway's first top model who is a tribal tattoo, a mole on her shoulder, and some really bad eyebrows. Anyway, she does have a loyal fan base though and is obviously inspirational to many, which is kind of what this whole thing is about. One website said about Bishamber, 
I am personally a big fan of hers and believe that if every girl out there starts loving her body and is as comfortable in her skin as Bishimber is, then life would be much easier and healthier for girls out there. Nothing wrong with that. 14. Olivia Campbell When it comes to being a plus-sized model, Olivia Campbell has it going on. She has a very unique look and gets a lot of work in the business. She is originally from London and says on her Model Mayhem account, I'm a 5 feet 11 size 18 confident and vivacious plus size model based in London, England. I'm extremely passionate about what I do and I put 120% into everything I do. This may certainly be true but it also gives a pretty good idea of what she actually does. She has modeled for such brands as Yours Clothing and Anna Schultz. On her profile on Model Mayhem she also says I was the face of Curvety. Common recently walked in the trapped in a skinny world I plus you fashion show. She describes herself as articulate and well-spoken. 15. Haley Herms Next on the list of babes that making a living from being supersized is Haley Herms who has modeled for Tunnel Vision and Society Plus, as well as many others. On her website she describes herself as being published and also as a singer, songwriter, and actress. Haley is another perfect example of what we are talking about here. This isn't some Ashley Graham type, where you are dating her and your buddies go man, that chick is super hot. I dig her curves. Not at all. What they actually say is wow. My buddy is going out with a fat chick. Now, that sounds awful of course, but what Haley and others like her are trying to show is that, yeah you are going out with a fat chick, and no there is nothing wrong with that at all, not even a little bit. So back off guys.